Jen and Ben, Dr. Henry Lee is a forensics professor at the University of New Haven. He's also assisted in high profile cases, including the murder of Jean Benet Ramsey and the reinvestigation of the Kennedy assassination. I asked him, can you get a murder conviction without a body? Dr. Henry Lee said just because there's no body now doesn't mean one won't be found. To completely destroy a body, almost impossible. Dr. Lee told Fox 61 the blood loss and the list of DNA evidence in the warrant could be key to proving Jennifer Dulos is not alive. More likely, she suffered one or multiple injury and uh, because the amount of blood which found an individual cannot survive, that shows a murder taking place. But proving Jennifer is dead doesn't prove Fotis did it. And while scientists don't have an agenda. We are not here uh, to um, determine guilt or innocence. That's where the work of the state crime laboratory in Meriden is crucial. The information we provide to the criminal justice system is essential uh, for the determination of, of cases. Fox 61 got an inside look as scientists screened this evidence for biological analysis. Anything from the body has the most amount of DNA. About 100 staff members work around the clock here to analyze upwards of 7,000 cases every year, about 20,000 items of evidence. That gets saved in freezer storage. Um, and the main evidence that forensic biology examines goes back to the submitting agency. Not at liberty to discuss the Dulos case. This is where that evidence was processed. Once dropped off by the investigating agency, it gets digitally cataloged. A case manager will get the evidence in front of a biologist who screens it and puts it in a tube for testing. Then the DNA gets extracted. And we purify it and we put it into a liquid form called a DNA extract. Next is amplification. And making millions of copies like you would make a copy or on a Xerox. Finally, it gets put into this genetic analyzer for a DNA profile. Which is basically a series of numbers that is unique to an individual. And we just learned today from Norm Pattis that investigators seized an ax from the garage of Fotis Dulos. That will now be analyzed at the crime lab. The director told me typical turnaround time for results is about a week to a week and a half, but they can expedite items for high profile or public safety reasons into just over a day. In the studio, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.